Hi there, I'm Jason, and you're watching Jason! 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 Learn! What is the product when we multiply 3a by 5a plus 7b plus 2? Is it letter A, 15a plus 21ab plus 6a? Or letter B, 15a squared plus 21b plus 6? Or letter C, 15a squared plus 21ab plus 6a? Or letter D, 15a squared plus 21a squared b squared plus 6a? What is your answer? So in order for you to answer this particular question correctly, all you just have to do is to follow that distributive law. So how does distributive law work? So all you just have to do is just to distribute this term to each of these terms by multiplying this to every term. So you're just going to have to multiply 3a by 5a and then 3a by 7b and then 3a by 2. So 3a times 5a, that's 15 a squared and then 3a times positive 7b that's 21ab and then 3a times 2 that's 6a so therefore 3a times 5a plus 7b plus 2 is 15a squared plus 21ab plus 6a so this is now our answer for that particular question so going back so the correct answer for this particular question is letter c now let's try this second question for you to understand the concept of the distributive law much better. So 2x squared times the quantity of x squared plus 3x plus 2. So again, all you just have to do is to uh, distribute this term to each of these terms uh, by multiplying this to every, of the, uh, every term. So 2x squared times x squared, that's 2x to the power of 4. 2x squared times positive 3x, that's 6x cubed. And then 2x squared times positive 2, that's positive 4x squared. So therefore, 2x squared times the quantity of x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 2x to the 4th power plus 6x cubed plus 4x squared. All right? Now, let's try one more example. How about this? So 4mn squared times the quantity of 3m squared n plus 7mo plus 2no cubed. So again, ato lang ning i distribute by multiplying this to each of these terms. So 4mn squared times 3m squared n, that's 4 times 3, that's 12. And then m times m squared, that's m cubed. n squared times n, that's n cubed. So all you just have to do is to recall your knowledge to the different laws of exponent. I, I've already uploaded a video about the different laws of exponents. So you may watch that video first. You should watch that video first before watching this video. And then 4m n squared times 7m o, that's going to be 28. 4 times 7, it's 28. m times m, that's m squared n squared times o, that's n squared o. And then 4m n squared times positive 2 n o cubed. So that's going to be 4 times 2, that's 8. And then m, copy m, because there's no m here. And then n squared times n, that's n cubed. And then just copy o cubed because there's no o here. So this is now our answer. We, uh, so as you can see, we cannot um, combine any of these terms because their variables are different. So as you can see, the literal coefficients are different. So this is m cubed, this is m squared, and this is m lang. So lahilay sila og mga exponents. So this is now our final answer. 4m n squared times the quantity of 3m squared n plus 7m o plus 2 n o cube is equal to 12 m cube n cube plus 28 m squared n squared o plus 8 m n cube o cube. Now this time, I want you to try this one. Try to multiply 2 c squared by c squared d plus 6 c d plus 5 d squared. And you may comment your answer in the comment section below. That's all for now. Thank you. More power and Let's keep learning.